So today, guys, we're, I'm excited because we are gonna be watching a video called Making of the Division. This is actually Making of the Division short film that was um, in collaboration with Ubisoft and other teams. So let's get into it. I'm excited. You might have seen the four part series on here, but let's, let's get into it. Hey guys, welcome to the behind the scenes for The Division. Now this is a very special project for us. It's actually Agent one of the Origins. biggest projects we've ever done. A series of four short films across four channels that we produce. So you might be wondering what this whole Division thing is. You might have seen it on uh, Rocket Jump or Death of Super Tramp or Ubisoft's channel, even or our own. Yeah, you never know. <laughs> About two years ago at E3, we were like, you know what's a cool game? The Division, that's a really cool game. So we told some of our friends so who worked cool. at Ubisoft that, and we're like, cool game, and they're like, thanks. I've got an idea, and like what? And they're like, what if this one was official and you guys actually made something that was officially in the world of the division and it was an official live action division piece? Yeah. And we're like, that's pretty neat. Because of the scale of content we were also doing, we decided to actually produce more of this. Three of the episodes you'll notice are directed by our good friend Adrian Picardi, and also one of the episodes is also directed by our good friend Devin Graham. Let me tell you a little bit about Adrian. So Sam and I have been making videos together for 16 years now, something like that. We started when we were like 14. We would occasionally enter online competitions, and there's always this one freaking guy that would beat us in every competition. That Sam, guy. being the ever smart businessman, <laughs> was like, you know what? Let's reach out and see if he wants to be our friend. He's like, I like video games. <laughs> oh, that's cool. I like video games too. We have so much in common. It was cooler than that. But yeah. Adrian, Nico, and myself all sat down and tried to think of four of the coolest stories we could tell in the universe of The Division. The game takes place in Manhattan, and Manhattan is pretty expensive to shoot in. It's also very hard to actually find snow in Manhattan. You have to be there for a very specific time. Yeah. Minnesota, a lot easier to find snow, a lot easier to shoot in. So we shot in the Twin Cities. It was really awesome being able to go back to a place where we've made so many cool videos it's pretty and cool. content and all that stuff and finally draw from our network of friends and coworkers and colleagues out there to make a fully fledged production team to tackle a project of this size. We'll start with the episode on Ubisoft's channel. There's one key scene in this episode, and that is the gunfight in the street, and that was intense. Actually, that was when both Sam and I were on set for that day, helping Adrian run the show. We had an interesting challenge going into that gunfight, in that we hit the street the day of, started parking cars, and we're like, well, how does this gunfight go? Because we need to figure it out now. Sam went down to one end of the street and looked around. He channeled all his airsoft game memories yeah. and it was like what if these people went there and they went there and they shot this person they did this then adrian and i ran down the street and we watched sam run around and be crazy for a second and then we just started putting some ideas and in about the span of maybe 30 to 45 minutes we choreographed the entire gunfight together that's how you do it yeah episode two aka devin's baby so approaching our second episode here uh about everett's character basically we wanted to create something that would really work for devin and his audience you know when you're looking at a game like The Division, it's all about military tactical gunfights and like really crazy dark survivalist stories and stuff like that. And one of the challenges with Devin's video is we needed to write a video that didn't really have violence but still had action. Because that's something that Devin tries to do with his channel. He tries to keep things a little bit on the lighter side of life, which is cool. So it was a really fun experience to try writing a video that fit that mood. On set though, totally different experience because that was one of the snowiest shoots and one of the coldest shoots of the entire four. We had some of the lowest temperatures, everyone was freezing their booties off. Despite that though, the footage does look really cool. You can see all the snow in the beginning, you can see all like the steam and breath coming out of people's mouth, all that stuff. It looks incredible. Devin has a penchant for having a moving camera in all his shots. This was the first time I at least got to see Devin use that technique of having his glide cam always flowing. Episode 3, a.k.a. Yes. Rumbling in my tum-tum. That was the one cut line from it, which I, we constantly regret yet say all the time. <laughs> this was actually us actually trying to figure out a way to make this series a little more funny. Looking at all these episodes, we try and make sure that each one kind of has a little bit of a different genre. And, you know, the third one obviously has that mood where it's, we are trying to do a little comedy here, whereas we're not doing that in the rest at all. So I highly recommend watching Rocket Jump's video after you've watched any of the other ones, because it starts to play around with some of the in-jokes of the Division world. All right, so episode oh, flamethrower. Cool. We maybe save the best episode for our channel. I don't know, it depends on what people like. I'm sure everybody I always, has their preference. You can say that, but you can also say like, we're making content that we're trying to make it good, but we're also understanding, you know, these are living on other people's channels. So they need to represent the people who are hosting them. This so I guess we, really we represent our channel by it. dark, horror-filled, burninated bodies. Well, yeah, well, the thing is, <laughs> okay, so in the game, there's these guys called the cleaners, and 
they've been in tons of like the E3 and gameplay coverage and probably seen them if you're following the game. We decided, all right, this is like super messed up and crazy. We're like, you know what? Let's save that one because it's really intense and we know that if we pull it off, we'll have no trouble, you know, posting it. So we were looking for a flamethrower. It's one of those things where it's like you think in the world of movies, like eh, flamethrowers, right? People just make them, right? Yeah. No. So it turns out that the guys who did the effects in the Battlefield commercial that we made back in the day with Freddie and Brandon, they actually bought the flamethrower from Lethal Weapon 4. Mm -hmm. And that old flamethrower doesn't have any of those limiters in it. And they also had old tanks from like the 70s that didn't have the limiters in it. So they were all set up to do a legit propane flamethrower. And man, that thing kicked fire far. The That's thing was sick. so loud when you shot it that you would hear windows rattle. So we're shooting in another alleyway and the door kicks open and this dude is standing there just like ready to go. He has one of those extendable metal batons. Did he come out and go like, <laughs> when, when it, did he <laughs> no, reveal he it? he came out ready to reveal it and like ready to like break some skulls. What did he, he looks say? around and there's like 20 or so crew members that all turn and look at him like these dudes in these creepy costumes and like just this moment of confusion on his face where he's like, what the heck? Did I walk in? See this guy with the flamethrower? It's like, <laughs> hello. <laughs> oh, so we had this little technique that we now call the division technique. Yeah, a new, a new technique was invented from this project. So when you're doing a gunfight and you need to do bullet hits, well, doing squibs is time consuming and hard. Doing dust balls from a paintball gun is time consuming and hard. What's not is you take dust and little bits of debris or paper or whatever you want in your hand and you go and you stand around the corner and you just flick it and you yeah. flick it from around the corner, and it works great. And yeah. for that whole apartment fight scene, that's all we did, we just flung dust from around corners. We would literally just <laughs> take that bag, hand out handfuls, and we'd just sit there and go, uh, 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 uh. and it, the more people you have, the better it looks. All in all, this is one of the biggest projects yeah, we've ever cool. done. Big thanks to Devin, the guys at Rocket Jump, the guys at Ubisoft, Adrian, Jake, everybody in Minnesota. This project turned out amazing and it wouldn't be possible without the culmination of everybody coming together to make something cool. Very cool. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully this filled you in a little bit on what you are looking at and where this thing dropped from out of nowhere. It's great to finally release it for everybody to see. Go check out the other videos and the other channels and let us know what you thought. That's actually pretty cool. Like what they got to show us, um, this team over here uh, making up the division. That was that video right there, guys. Um, if you guys haven't seen those, we've actually watched two of them on this channel recently so you guys can go back and watch those um maybe we'll go back and watch the other ones i think i watched the best two in my opinion um but yeah this is kind of cool to see about the making and how they have this one set up so it's, it's kind of cool see what they did here with the division it was kind of cool to see that they didn't even film it in new york city because it cost too much you have to be there a specific time for the snow and they did it in minnesota so kind of cool all right guys we'll wrap it up here hey nothing but skills out